Hi, I am Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. I am a soul sculptor. I help you break the mold of past trauma, heartbreak, misery, suffering, and all the things that we're wanting to move away from. So I help you have a magical, happy, beautiful life. Now, my life was not always happy, magical, and beautiful. It was the opposite for a lot of years, at least four decades to be exact. And I have discovered the path out of misery. And this is part of what my focus is on helping you overcome the past and moving into a, a place of beautiful awareness of all the beauty around you and life in general, enjoying being here instead of <laughs> what I have heard from so many people. I just want to go home and what they mean by home is they want to die. They, they feel that heaven is home. And here's the thing, wherever your heart is, is where home is. So while we're on this planet, we are here to make the most of it. I have a little competition from the crow over here. Um, I'm gonna address that in a minute. So, a long time ago, and I would say, well, I won't, I won't tell you how many years ago, but there was a time that I felt dreadfully lonely. I felt lost, I felt broken, I felt, you know, like a, a, like a little broken doll. And I felt like nobody would ever love me. I didn't feel like I was enough. And I was terribly lonely. It didn't matter if I was in a relationship, married or single, I was lonely. And here's the thing about loneliness. Loneliness is something that we feel when we're totally disconnected from our hearts and from ourself. Loneliness happens when we think that th this is all there is, that, that this is the body and this miserable life existence is mine and there's nothing better than that. Well, that's not the truth, but here's the thing. Every one of us goes through trauma, challenges, and issues. Every single person on this planet will have pain and suffering, but you don't have to stay in suffering. We stay in a state of suffering when we don't forgive ourselves, when we reject this body, when we tell ourselves that we're stupid, ugly, fat, an idiot, when we beat ourselves up with our words and our thoughts and also our actions. So if we're not getting enough rest, if we're not eating properly, if we just go, oh, you know, screw it, I'll eat whatever I want. Well, you can, but the truth of it is, if you eat crap, you're gonna feel like crap. So if you're drinking soda and eating cake and bonbons day after day, you're gonna feel like crap. And you could also end up living a life of, of health issues for a very long time and so we don't want that. Now, I will tell you that I overcame a lot of health issues myself. I had fibromyalgia, Epstein-Barr and autoimmune disease. I was sick a lot. I was depressed, I had anxiety. I was crazy fearful, like in terror and torment. I had terrible nightmares, was afraid of the dark, used to have difficulty falling asleep. And now I'll walk around outside without a flashlight. I will walk around at night without turning on lights. I'm not afraid of the dark. There's very little that scares me any longer. And so what I will say is that loneliness comes from cutting ourselves off from our feelings. It's from cutting ourselves off from living the full life, but it's also um, this bashing, you know, beating ourselves up, abandoning ourselves with our thoughts, our words, and our deeds. So how can we abandon ourselves? Well, we have been given this gift. This, this gift is our body and our life on this planet. And so if, if we are not in gratitude every day for waking up and being alive, that's one, number one. So 
the first step is to be grateful for being alive. It is a, a beautiful gift. And maybe today or yesterday you suffered and life wasn't wonderful, but I promise you, if you follow the steps that I'm telling you about on a daily basis, life is going to become not only easier and more lovely, but you're going to be a heck of a lot happier as a result. And the happier we are, the healthier we are. So all of the things that we do, whether it's what we put in our mouths or what we allow the brain to think, will create our world. So if you want to live a happier life, you want to eat healthy foods. I just downed a juice I just made with my my brand new juicer my son gave me for Christmas. So my juice in, consisted of Swiss chard, half an apple, uh, half a cucumber, and I, you know, I made it really quickly. So that's what that was. So I consume food that I know is good for my body. You know, this morning for breakfast, I had uh, organic pancakes that I made myself with, um, again, my son's recipe, oatmeal, eggs, banana, no sugar, had nuts and it was they were sauteed in um, a little oatmeal sauteed in coconut oil which is a healthy fat so if you want to be happy you have to think ha happy thoughts think positive thoughts it has been scientifically proven that what we think what we think will light up the positive centers in the brain will have more serotonin and then, of course, what we eat, you want your gut to be healthy. A lot of the serotonin that we, that we use you know, for our brain or our, our, um, what prevents depression is created in the gut, in the gut. We have, we have a brain here, but we have a, a heart brain, and we also have this gut brain. And so the cells in the, in the gut actually create the serotonin. And if you're not eating properly, you're not going to feel good. So when we don't feel good, and then we tell ourselves, you're a piece of doo-doo, you um, don't regret, or you don't let go of regret, guilt, and shame, you don't forgive yourself. So what you're doing is you're burdening yourself with all this pain and suffering when we're not meant to carry it around with us. It's, it's like, it's like dragging a 500 pound weight behind us. And so to lighten the load, you want to have gratitude each day, forgive yourself for what you didn't do or what maybe you did, forgive yourself first and forgive anyone else that hurt you, that all of these things will help you to live a much happier life. The loneliness piece though, I want to get back to that when we don't like ourselves, when we don't enjoy our own company, we are abandoning ourselves. I am my own best friend. I love myself. I love myself enough to enjoy my own company. Now there was a time, I want to go back to this, there was a time that I hated being alone. Well, why did I hate being alone? because I didn't like who I was, because I was tortured by all my negativity. And so the more positive thoughts you think, the kinder that we are to ourselves, the more in love with us that we become. And I'm not talking about, you know, having a huge head and, and, and saying that you're better than everyone else because no one is better than anyone else. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about love and acceptance of yourself the way you love and accept your dog or your cat. It's easier for me to relate, I think, love and acceptance to, to your pets because, you know, we have a tendency, we judge others, we judge our kids, we judge our partners, so we don't judge our animals, right? Because they're, they're just loves. They're big old loves and they help teach us about how to love ourselves with great love and acceptance. Rather than, I've got one rubbing, <laughs> rubbing up against my feet here, a kitty cat. So, so here's the thing. Life becomes sweeter 
and you'll stop being lonely when you love being with you. And how do you do that? Well, you have to love yourself. So you have to stop the self-hatred and you have to forgive yourself for all the things that, that you did. I was talking to someone just a little bit ago and, and, um, and, and he's depressed. And, you know, when he was telling me a story, I could hear unforgiveness. And so we need to forgive ourselves for anything that we've done to ourselves and others. And that lightens the load. We stop carrying around this burden of guilt and shame when we're able to forgive ourselves. So the best way to end loneliness forever, and I'm serious about this, is to connect with yourself, to absolutely love and accept you and who you are right now. And I have a fabulous course that helps you do that. So if you're interested, jenniferelizabethmasters.com is my website. jenniferelizabethmasters at gmail is my email. And you can send me a message and say, yes, I'd like to hear about this course that will transform me so that I love being alone with myself. So in the process of loving ourselves, when I started to look back at myself after I begun loving myself, I recognized all the physical pain was gone, the anxiety was gone, and the depression totally gone. I didn't take a pill. It wasn't medication. It was self-love and acceptance that did it. So if you want a fast path to joy and happiness and living the best possible life, let me help you learn to love yourself. I'm Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. This is what I do. It is what I'm so passionate about. I've done it for myself and I can help you do it also. So I would love for you to join me on this journey. And um, right now I have a free download on my website, jenniferelizabethmasters.com. It's transmuting worry. It will help you move out of fear and calm yourself down enough to be able to fall asleep easily and effortlessly. I love you and thank you so much for watching.